Spitzola. Um, I will be reading Under My Hijab by Henna Khan to you today. If you have your copy of the book, please feel free to follow along. If not, please pay attention to the illustrations, illustrations in the book and also the words so that you can gain an understanding. When we read, we read for a purpose, and the purpose of this reading is to understand. Here we go. Under my hijab. When you look at this book, this is the front of the book. And on the front of the book, we have information about the book's title, which is over here. The title simply means the name of the book. And if you come over here, this is the name of the author. The author is Hena Khan. That is the person that wrote the words in this story. And if you come over here, you'll see the name of the illustrator, which is Aliyah Jalil. Under My Hijab by Hena Khan, illustrated by Aliyah Jalil. Look at all of these beautiful Muslim women that are wearing their beautiful headscarves in different colors and in different styles. This book is dedicated to strong Muslim sisters everywhere and to all the inspiring women in my life. Most importantly, my mom. So the author has a dedication to the people, all right? Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crust on my favorite pies. Look at the pictures. There's a box of flour on the floor. This little girl is baking some pies. Look over here. There's someone using the mixer. And there's her beautiful grandmother placing the loaves of bread on the shelves. Now, I want you to draw your attention to the words in this story. Because this story is demonstrating some... Creative way of introducing you to rhyming words. If you say rise and pies, they are rhyming words, okay? Let's follow along to the next page. And if you notice that I keep turning the pages, and when I start in the English language, we read from left to right. When she is at home in her kitchen, grandma fixes her hair in a bun. That's a that's called a bun. Do you see that? That's a bun. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they are done. Bun done. Oh, I forgot to tell you what rhyming words are. Rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound. Let's see if there will be any more rhyming words in this story. Mama makes jokes with her patient as she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pink hijab looks so cheerful, tucked into her tidy white coat. This is the little girl's mommy. And she has a patient and she's checking his mouth. And look, this is the parent of the little boy over here. So if she wears a light, a, a white lab coat and if she has a patient, can you think about what her job is? What is her profession? Hmm. I wonder what her mama does for a living. If you guessed a doctor, you were right. Her mommy is a doctor. Look, that's her dad. He's barbecuing some things in the backyard. It looks like some hamburger patties. And this is her beautiful mommy. And that's her. 
At home, Mama lets her long hair down as she rolls up the sleeves on her shirt. We laugh while we plant pretty flowers and make a big mess in the dirt. So let's look at these words. Shirt, dirt. Another set of rhyming words. Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high, pinned with a handmade jewel. Look at Auntie. She's so creative and she's an artist. And she has her own studio. How lovely is that? Look, that's her working with her auntie. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked with pink and purple, a fine work of art she can comb. Look at her auntie's hair. Auntie has that creative hairstyle as well. And look at her beautiful home. Let's see what it says over here. Oh, did you identify the rhyming words here? If not, let me help you say home, comb. Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat whenever we hike outdoors. So here, s'mores and outdoors. Look at over here. Oh my goodness, and look at Jenna. She's being so brave. Fearless means you're not afraid of anything at all, and you are so brave. When dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Huddle means to get together. Look over here. Everyone has gathered together, so that's a huddle. Jenna's hair glows. Look at Jenna's beautiful long hair. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers, I shiver and hold her arm tight. So the rhyming words here are night and tight. And this is Jenna. Oh, I wonder who this is. My sister Zaina is in high school. She wears something stylish each day. She puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab in a cute way. The rhyming words here are day and way. Look over here. This is her beautiful sister with her friend. Oh, look, this is her sister inside the house when she's not wearing her scarf. And she has beautiful hair. And she also has beautiful clothes and accessories. Oh, my goodness. Look at her beautiful closet and her very nicely decorated room. Zaina ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find her tomorrow's fresh look. The rhyming words here are book and look. Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face when she cracks a board into pieces I am amazed her hijab stays in place. Look at all of the students who are watching as Iman is working towards earning her black belt. Okay, black belt is this belt that's around her waist and it's related to martial arts. In this case, it's Taekwondo. 
and it is an honor to have a black belt. That means you need to work super hard and pass through many levels before you can get to a black belt. The rhyming words here are face and place. Oh, look, this is Iman inside the house. She's just a regular girl when she's not wearing her headscarf. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach Iman moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, jump up, and tumble as we put on our own private show. Look at her beautiful hair. Here, the rhyming words are no and show. Oh, look at this beautiful gathering. These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. I can wear my hijab like each of them or try something totally new. The rhyming words here are do and new. Look over here. It's a beautiful gathering. Oh my goodness, now she's putting her on very own scarf. She's wearing her very own scarf and she's trying out her new style and she looks beautiful. Under my hijab is a headband or a clip with butterfly wings. My hair shines bright like my future. I can't wait to see what it brings. The rhyming words here are wings and brings. The end. If you have this book, you can learn more about the author on the very last page. And these are some examples of the people that were in our story and their various jobs. So you can ask questions like, who is this person and what was she? This is Jenna and she was a fearless troop leader, right? This is the author's mommy and she was a pediatrician. This is the author's grandma, and she was baking beautiful cookies with her grandma. And this was her aunt, and her aunt was an artist, and she owned her very own studio. I hope you enjoyed reading with me, and I hope that you remember to celebrate your unique identity and that you remain respectful of everyone and their choices. There are so many intelligent Muslim women in very many different roles, and I hope that you take this time to get to know some of them in your local community. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to reading to you again. Mm -hmm.